There are numerous other names for the engine control module, or ECM, such as the engine control unit, or ECU. Whatever name you give it, it serves the same purpose. This essential part communicates with the motor to guarantee that it is operating properly. A failing engine control module can cause a number of problems with performance. In this video, we examine the signs of a failing ECM as well as the approximate cost of replacement. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Check Engine Light Modern cars are all outfitted with a check engine light to alert you to problems. There are many different issues that can cause this light to illuminate, but a malfunctioning ECM is one of them. The ECM will activate the check engine light if a sensor, circuit, or other electrical part fails. An OBD2 trouble code scanner is the only tool available for determining the cause. Performance Issues Any problems with engine performance can be traced back to a potential ECM malfunction. An imbalance in the engine's fuel-air ratio or timing settings may result from this module failing. The result is a reduction in performance, particularly when trying to depress the gas pedal or hauling up a hill. The ECM may be to blame if you notice a decrease in power or acceleration. Car won't start. You may lose the ability to start your car if the ECM completely fails. The engine just doesn't know what to do in the absence of engine management. It may make an attempt to start, but it needs to be injected with the proper amount of fuel and air to start. But a non-starting car is not always indicative of a malfunctioning ECM. Other possible causes include a dead car battery, issues with the ignition system, or a fuel system malfunction. Engine misfiring and stalling. An imbalance results from the incorrect signals being sent to the engine by the ECM as it begins to malfunction. Misfiring occurs when a computer fails. In severe circumstances, the vehicle may even stall while stopped at a red light. These symptoms will be unpredictable, though. The car may run smoothly one day and be difficult to control the next. When the ECM is going out, there is no pattern to the frequency or intensity of symptoms. Decreased fuel economy. It is challenging for the engine to properly regulate fuel intake when the ECM is malfunctioning. For this reason, when the engine control module fails, your motor may begin to burn more fuel. You may be able to identify the issue early on if you monitor the fuel economy. But more time spent at the gas pump ought to be a dead giveaway that something isn't right. Replacement cost. For the majority of car models, replacing an engine control module typically costs between $500 and $1,000. The ECM alone will set you back between $450 and $900. That leaves between $50 and $100 for labor costs. You won't save much money if you decide to replace the ECM on your own because the engine control module itself is the primary expense. The kind of vehicle you drive has an impact on the ECM's cost. Compared to the driver of the large, luxurious SUV, you will pay significantly less if you drive a small, compact car. The repair shop will want to diagnose the engine control module before replacing it. This is an extra cost that might run as low as $100 or as high as $300. If you have a code scanner on hand, you can check the trouble codes on your own and save money. To find out what the trouble codes mean, though, you might have to do some online research. You may be tempted to buy a used ECM if you want to save money. Even though it's tempting, this isn't the ideal course of action. First of all, a used ECM is typically not covered by warranty, so anything can happen to it at any time. It will also still require reprogramming, which raises the cost. The shop may be able to reprogram or reconfigure your current ECM in certain circumstances. When this occurs, there is no need to buy a new engine control module, so the cost is significantly reduced. Because of the immobilizer, certain engine control modules must be programmed by the automaker when they are replaced. Before attempting to switch it, you must confirm this with the dealer. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.